working with sheets or spreadsheets is a really powerful tool that we can integrate into our workflow. Uh, we can do a lot of straightforward calculations as we have already been doing, uh, like calculating the unit totals, the final grade totals, uh, displaying a certain message based on a certain number that is obtained. So that's really, really great and really facilitates our work. But as we start getting these lists with very long, or these lists that are very long, uh, this one, for example, has 30 students, uh, it exceeds the limits, the visible limits of the window. So if I want to get the results for some of the last students in this list, I have to scroll down, locate my student visually, then I have to look this way, and then I have to scroll that way until I get to this box. Here is the final grade for that specific student. So that can be a problem. Imagine you have several groups uh, where this is a situation. And not only that, here I've just populated the first few rows, but when you start going this way, it's just numbers and numbers and numbers all across here. So that could be, again, very problematic. So to solve this, we can also use the same functions or some of the additional functions in Sheets uh, to generate a search. Uh, and here we already have a search tab. So here, for example, I, uh, just to work with these ones that I have here. So here I have this student. I would like to, to get the information for that specific student. So I'll go here to my search. I've already pre-designed this, um, not the most appealing perhaps, but it's functional. So I'll just type in the last name of that student. And here are all of the information available for, for that student within the class list. So here I'll have the name. Here I have the unit totals, the message. Maybe this could take um, a heading, like teacher message or something like that. I got the student ID and I got the final grade. So all of this information I'm pulling from the class list down here. Now uh, here I've done a little bit of conditional formatting. So because this is a passing grade, it's green in the background. But I have here another student. Uh, I believe it's this one right here. Uh, so I'm going to type in the last name for that student over here. I believe it was Fabregas. Yes. So here I have again all of the available information displayed. And here I'm just changing automatically to red because this is not a passing grade. So this is a little bit of conditional formatting that can be done, as you already know, right here. Now, if there's no information available, if I erase this, then I'm doing a little bit of um, anticipation for errors with the if error function to show this double hyphen right there where we have text and here where I have some numbers, I'm putting a zero. So that way, uh, and here I have this message that says type in a student last name. Um, so, so that's the, so I know what to type in here. I could probably do a little bit of better design here. Now, if I'm typing in a, a, a name that is not in the list as well, like let's type my name, I'm not, I'm not in the list. Um, I still get nothing because it didn't find anything. Um, so I have to type in one of the, those two, those names. Now this could be a, a situation that, that could, uh, will also be fixed in the following task. Uh, so here, for example, uh, Arias Amador. So I'll go ahead and type in that one. So I typed it in fine, but it didn't find anything because um, here we have a little accent right there. So if I want to get that right, I need to go in here and I need to change it for the I. And now it finds that. And I have all the information for that specific student. So this is a search feature. It's like a little Google within this spreadsheet. It's all done with VLOOKUPs, but it's pulling in information from this class list. So hopefully this uh, short video will help you to identify just exactly what is being asked in task 2.6 so that you can design your own search feature here and uh, submit it uh, when you have it ready.